Hello guys and welcome back to FTL, I'm the JY Effect and today I'm going to be continuing my quest to not pause the game. Which is very difficult for me because my thumb is just constantly hovering over the pause button. Um, yes, let us jump over to the next, the next sector though. And uh, out of Rock and Mantis... Uh, well, I was suggested to go to the Mantis because... Um, apparently people like to jump on your ship in the Mantis Sector and people thought it'd be fun to try and kill me off that way because I'd have to react quite quickly to people jumping onto my ship. So, thanks. Thanks a lot. Great. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch. Oh yeah, full and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. We have 11, that should get us through. Okay, straight off the bat we have two distress beacons and a store. I'm thinking distress, distress, oh, I can't jump to the store from there, damn it. One, two, distress, did a store, and then get away from the, the rebels. Is that going to work? Three jumps and then getting away from the rebels? We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Why not? Okay. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant spiders. Uh, the only thing that I ever have seen that can take out the giant spiders is like a an anti-bio beam or something like that. So, we are going to leave them alone. You can't risk fighting some unknown alien on every backwater station you come across. You prepare to jump. Yeah, we're going to avoid that because I don't want to lose crew members. Oh my god, there's so many distress beacons. This is crazy. I'd love to get to these, but I think the store right now is more important. We've got loads of scrap. So, I want to see what we can get with this. You're greeted by a rare sight. A mantis ship that appears not to have noticed you. Um, well, either way, it's going to notice us, so we're just going to straight up attack the ship. Um, and we're going to put the Artemis targeting the shields. They're a fairly weak Mantis ship with an engine of Mantis on, so hopefully it should be quite an easy target. Yeah, and we'll just take out the pilot booth. And it's quite interesting that you see an NG and a Mantis together, because... They are supposed to hate each other, they are supposed to be rivals. So that's quite an interesting combination. The ship explodes leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material, two missiles, one drone part and 22 scraps, so more scrap just before we go to the store. Perfect. Okay. Identifying a Mantis trading post ahead, you signal them so that your approach won't be taken as a threat. The leader hails you, you have scrap, quickly come dock before the warriors see you. Cool. Okay, so there's a fire beam. Hmm, and a singular burst laser. That could come in handy. Um, we may as well fix our one damage that was done. Uh, buy some fuel. I think we're just going to stock up on fuel. Sounds good to me. And... Can't sell anything. Yeah, we've got nothing that could be sold. We have a fire bomb that could be sold. Um, but I think we'll keep it for now. Yeah, we'll even keep it there. But I would quite like just another burst laser. So, boom, burst laser. And Mike Weston, or Giles. Mike Weston or Giles. I mean, look at Giles, he's a rock. Rock guy. Uh, increased health and immune to fire. I think this is going to come in pretty darn handy. Immune to fire. Hmm. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll take Mike Weston, because we need a little bit more scrap. So Mike Weston can be on the weapons. Let's put them in this order. So then on the ship, I'm going to need to upgrade this at least once. And then we can do that for now. Okay. 
Um, but I think we'll, we'll keep it like this with the Artemis up. And then uh, once we run out of missiles, we can have two burst lasers up. So that's going to be the combo. Um, I do need to buy another power bar. So, yeah. Okay, jump on over. So here's the rebels coming in. We're going to jump over to here. All the jumps are quite big jumps, so we can afford to take our time a little bit. A derelict and still smoking Mantis vessel floats by. The battle must have been recent. Its surviving crew beam on board. Prepare to fight. Oh, really? This is exactly what people wanted to happen. Oh, no. Thanks, guys. Like, actual thanks. Open all the doors apart from the med bay and get everyone in the med bay. Apart from you, you can stay in there and you can have oxygen. Get in there, get in there, get in there. And power up the med bay. That might help. Oh, we're going to lose. Oh, we've already lost two, uh, one crew member. Damn it, we already lost bloody Mike Weston that we just got. Damn it. Oh, man, that takes so long to prepare for. Oh, yeah, it's because I selected the pilot when I selected everybody to go in the med bay, and so Mike Weston did not go in there. Okay, let's re-oxygenate. And, uh, you down on the health? No, Maloney's on full still. Okay, Owen back on the engines and Naomi on the shields. Oh, that's so annoying, I just wasted, like, 40 scrap. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. His, his one jump on board the SS Albatross was was worthy. <laughs> he deserves a medal. Um, a medal of honour. Right. Okay. Let's just make sure our oxygen gets back up before we, uh, before we jump onto the next place. And hopefully we don't get a similar thing, because that would be an actual disaster. And that time we may need Maloney to come in and, uh, and pwn some mantis. Damn. You have to admit that the medbay trick works. Okay, I think we've got enough oxygen, so we shall jump on over. Okay, what have we got in store here? You receive a transmission. Sorry, sir, this is nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel ship's weapons go hot. Oh, God, they're going to teleport on as well. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, Naomi, get in there, and I'll have the medbay powered so that you keep regening. Okay, we're taking a few hits. They're also taking a few hits, though. We will take out their um, pilot. In fact, we'll take out the teleport so the guy can't leave. Powering up the FTL, take out the pilot. And Naomi is done in there, so we'll put the power back onto the engines. And then if all three shots hit, they offer me some stuff. Two fuel drone plus 17 scrap. Oh, I fancy killing them because they are rebels. And that's not cool. Oh, we even got more scrap. We got an extra missile and an extra three bits of scrap. And guess what? They left behind us a, a, a substantial collection of these scrap material. I just, yeah, I couldn't speak them. So I put on my dirt voice. Cool. Cool beans. Um, I think now it's a straight straight old run to uh, to the finish line. Maybe we can dip around on these couple, but uh, yeah, we're just going to go straight down to the finish now. Okay, a nearby Mantis mining operation is clearly using heavy NG slave labour. You, brief you briefly consider the possibility of emancipating the slaves, um, but the Mantis presence is too formidable. You decide to lay low. Yeah. Um, I think we can do a little a doinch over here. <laughs> a bedoinch, a little ping pong. <laughs> okay. You pick up a distress call from a civilian ship. It's being chased by a mantis. Aid the civilian. <sighs> you frown. Power up the weapons and prepare to engage the mantis ship. Not today. So one, two, that's our combination. Artemis on shields. And a uh, burst laser on the weapons. It seems to be a good combo so far. There, Artemis is going to hit the oxygen ohm. Please repair that for the love of God. And take out their pilot booth. Now, take out their engines. 
Boom, all three hit. That is the Mantis Scout down. Ohm has finished repairing that. The Mantis ship breaks apart. That's the shortest message I've ever seen in the game. Three fuel, two missiles, and 30 scrap. Attempt to contact the civilian ship. The ship you saved was badly damaged in the battle. Most of the crew accept your offer to be dropped off at a nearby station. One officer join your crew. Welcome aboard. The survivor gets on board your ship. Yes, we even have a Mantis. We have Ewan. Okay, cool. We have a Mantis, and he's going to do all the fighting for us. And we finally have someone to be on the uh, on the weapon. Manning reduces charge time. Sweet. Oh, yes. Okay, let's jump on over here then before the rebels get there. And then, again, continue our run to the finish. The only thing this beacon offers is a view of deep space and a brief uh, respite from battles. For some, this must be a welcome refuge. Continue. Okay. What have we got here? Is there going to be a fight? An abandoned space station circles a lonely planet. A quick check yields schematics for a drone. You bring it aboard the ship. 19 scrap and an anti-ship beam drone 1. Damn. So in equipment we now have uh, beam 1 and we'll take off the fire thing. Yeah. So we have a firebomb and an anti-ship beam drone one. I think I actually prefer the laser weapon because it takes down shields as opposed to the beam. The beam doesn't take down shields, although it does a lot more damage once it's gone through the shields. But I think we're going to leave it like that for now. Um, we can do this and have... No, oh, I'd have to take that off to get the burst laser one on 25 for another power bar and then we can have the burst laser on I'd rather have the evade right now oh we can keep the med bay up may as well have the med bay permanently up for a bit okay let us jump on to the next bit then and I think we're going to have a little bit of time to fiddle around uh, back here I think we've got three jumps remaining so this is always good. You arrive just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected intruder on deck. A young mantis in child uniform is teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have been tra uh, have already traced the teleport signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. We could side with the fugitive and fight the NG ship or agree to offer up the Mantis in exchange for a bounty. I'd rather side with him, but I think he's going to start attacking me. This one has a couple of possibilities in the way that it goes. If we offer up the Mantis, he normally kind of goes crazy and starts hitting on you. If you side with the Fugitive, sometimes he joins your crew when you fight the NG, and sometimes he kills you while you fight the NG. But I think we're going to pick this one. Okay. He expresses his thanks and prepares to help you fight the pursuer. Okay, good. Good. Now, I'm while it's still on this screen, I'm going to have a look at what they've got. So this is like the NG ship that I have already beaten the game with, which is one of my favourite ships ever. And it's super cool. It's in the little circle shape. They've got two NG members, one shield, and what's this, seven bars of health? Okay. Um... Shields, weapons, that's how we play this. We have uh, Pomeroy. Pomeroy, you can do the doors and cameras. We'll keep you in the doors, though. Oh, that did a bit of damage to me. Um, let's make sure the shields stay down. Oh, they've got a thingy. Take that off. Yeah. And put number, number three on. I didn't even notice they had a drone that shoots down all the bloody... Missiles, that was a waste of two missiles. There we go. Ship down. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material, like every other ship ever. One fuel, one drone part, and 28 scrap. Perfect, we're up to five crew members. Maloney, Ohm, Naomi, Ewan, and Pomeroy. All the best ones, then. I mean, Mike, Mike Walters, I think his name was. I can't even remember his name anymore. Wasn't really that significant to my team. 
Uh, we have a store and the exit. Well, I don't think I need to visit a store. We've only got 34 scraps, so we're going to visit the unknown one, which could be a fight, and hopefully we'll get some scrap out of it. Oh yeah, you can tell by the fight music. A Mantis military scout seems to have just finished a salvage op on a nearby wreck. They have no time uh, with warnings... What? They have no time to waste with warnings and appear to wish to fight. Let's take three off, put one on, and do the, the old tactic. We have come to know and love. Which is, shields are going to be taken down by the Artemis. They have no drone, I just had to check that quickly. And then we can take one off uh, and put three on. And then go two, three. See if two, every single shot hits. Yes, okay. Mantis ship down. Oh, guess what? The ship has exploded and it leaves behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Just like every other ship has done. Just saying. Two fuel, one missile and 22 scrap. Continue to the exit. Go forth to the exit. Okay, you've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FDL drive is charged, you can jump on to the next sector. There's a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military grade explosives, we'll gladly pay for them. Five missiles for 15. Scrap, go away, I need my missiles. Thank you. Come again. Pick a sector. Peoples. Civilian or rock. I really, really know which one I would pick. Yeah, I know for a fact which one I would pick. And it's not based on these two, it's based on further down the tree. And if anybody has watched my previous series, or even last episode, you can probably work it out. But let me guess, you're going to be cruel. Um, <laughs> just like you were this episode. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please click on the little thumbs up button, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>